Dun 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 Food chains and webs show the connections between different organisms based on what they eat. Here we have some algae, which is eaten by minnows, which are in turn eaten by largemouth bass. The interesting thing about these connections is that if you change one population, it can have indirect effects on the other connected populations. For instance, if you increase the largemouth bass population, they will eat more minnows, and fewer minnows means more algae. This indirect effect on the algae population by affecting the bass population is called a trophic cascade. Because changes in the higher trophic levels are causing the reduction in the lower trophic levels, it is called a top-down effect. In top-down effects, you usually find an alternating change. So an increase in one population is followed by a decrease in the next trophic level, and it usually continues to alternate till it reaches the lowest level. Indirect effects can also be transmitted up a food chain. If the primary producers in an area decrease, the herbivores that feed on that producer will usually decrease, followed by the carnivores. Notice that instead of the alternating increase-decrease of the downward cascade, you have a population decline or increase in the same direction as you go up the food chain. This is an example of a bottom-up effect. Another example of a bottom-up effect is toxin production. If you have toxin production in the base of your food chain, it can lead to changes in the higher trophic levels. The more poisonous your plants are, the more herbivore populations will decrease. This in turn reduces your predator population. However, there are ways for species to affect the movement of bottom-up effects. Can you think of how species might reduce or even eliminate these effects? Bum 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 ba da don 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 So how can species reduce the bottom up effects of a toxic primary producer? Well, herbivores could become resistant or tolerant to the toxin, which would stop the effects of the cascade, so that neither the herbivores nor the carnivores would be affected. Another method might be for the herbivore to sequester the toxin, bringing it into their own body and storing it, providing them protection from their predators. In this case, the toxin of the plant actually hurts the plant because the plant not only wastes energy making the toxin, but the reduction of predators increases the number of herbivores that will then eat the plant. These bottom-up effects were studied in 2008 in a paper in Ecologia by Harry et al., in which they looked at a poisonous fungus that grows inside of grass. The grass is then eaten by an aphid, which is then parasitized by a wasp. Knowing what you know about bottom-up effects, what relationship would you predict between the higher trophic levels? Bum, 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 ba -da -da, don, 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 so what were the effects of the poisonous fungal parasite of grass on the herbivorous aphids and their parasitic wasp? Harry et al. found that the fungus had little to no effect on the aphid reproduction. In this graph, the open bar shows the average number of aphids produced per female fed on grass without the parasite. The closed bar shows the number of offspring when parents were fed on parasitized grass. Although different, the difference was not significant. However, when you look at the parasitic wasp, there is a dramatic decline in fecundity, or the number of viable offspring produced by the second generation. So in this food chain, the fungus hurts the grass's survival. Not only does it take resources away from the grass in order to grow, it also increases the aphid population by reducing the number of wasps. In summary, remember that in trophic interactions, you can have direct effects like big fish eats little fish, or you can have indirect effects on populations that can either be top-down or bottom-up. This has been a Paper Pushers production.